Now to the economy shrinking for a second straight quarter. The latest sign we may be in headed for a recession with some economists saying we are already there. Chief economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis joins us now with what to to explain with what all this means. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning to you, Cecilia, and the latest data from the Commerce Department shows the U.S. economy shrank between April and June, meaning consumer spending slowed, business investment fell, and stores reduced their restocking. Now, these are traditionally signs we could be facing a recession, but try and get this administration to even say the word recession, and you'd be hard-pressed. This morning, as debate grows over whether the U.S. is already in a recession or will be, the chairman of the Federal Reserve says we aren't there yet. I do not think the U.S. is currently in a recession. Um, and the reason is there are just too many areas of the economy that are that are performing, uh, you know, too well. President Biden striking an optimistic tone. If you look at our job market, consumer spending, business investment, we see signs of economic progress in the second quarter as well. Regardless of what it's called, Americans are feeling the pain in their wallets. According to a growing number of economists, including Bank of America and Goldman Sachs, the signs of a recession are forming, with inflation up 9.1 percent, prices rising on food, shelter and transportation. And while gas prices are starting to drop, it still costs over 35 percent more to fill up than this time last year. In California, one of the most expensive places to get gas, drivers are paying an average of $5.66 a gallon, making it almost $100 to fill up a 16-gallon tank. It's really hard to um, stick to a budget because now what I pay for gas a month is almost what I pay for rent a month. Consumers also facing double-digit increases at grocery stores. I used to do my monthly groceries for 200 bucks. And now it's costing me around $300, $350. The National Bureau of Economic Research is the nonpartisan nonprofit that officially declares when recessions begin and end here in the United States. And they look at metrics like GDP, but they also consider things like unemployment and jobs, areas that have held up despite this record inflation. Many economists are forecasting that we will see a recession later this year or early next, Cecilia. Rebecca, this debate, are we in a recession, are we not? It's really raging on, but it, you've been saying it almost doesn't matter to folks at home who are feeling this in their wallets. You can still feel pain, Cecilia, whether we're in a recession or not. And there are things you can do right now, like pay down that credit card debt, beef up your emergency savings fund. And if there is extra work to be taken on, do it. And work on your resume right now. There are jobs out there. If you're looking for extra work, go out and get it now while they're still available. Cecilia? Really great tips as always, Rebecca. Thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.